Hey Kevin, where are you? We're at our hotel room. Let's go check it out and learn some English. This is a key card. It's a key and it's a card, so we call it a key card. And here next to our bed, we have a table. But we have a special name for this table. It's called a nightstand. That's right. Of course, you can call it a table, but we have the word nightstand for this table next to the bed. For any table next to your bed, usually with a lamp, it's called a nightstand. And this nightstand has one drawer. Pronunciation, the DR makes a j, j sound with a voice like juice and jump, j, j, plus the R, j, j, and the OR like floor and more. Put it together, drawer, drawer. This is a drawer. I'm gonna close the drawer. Is the drawer empty? Let me see. Yes, the drawer is empty. There's nothing in the drawer. Remember, pronunciation for empty. Don't pronounce the P sound. It's M T. Empty. This drawer is empty. Let's see what else we have in the room. We have a microwave and we have a bucket. This is a bucket for ice. So we call it an ice bucket. This is an ice bucket. And it's empty too. There's no ice in the ice bucket. So, I need a refrigerator. Aha! There's a refrigerator. A little refrigerator. You can say refrigerator, or for short we say fridge. We have a little fridge right here. Hey Kevin, what kind of door is that? Oh, yeah, this is a sliding door. It's called a sliding door because it slides. That's the action, that's the verb, slide. So this is a sliding door. Pretty cool. Let's check out the closet. In the closet we have hangers. This is one hanger, but we have a lot of hangers. Remember the pronunciation. We don't say hanger. We don't make a hard g sound for the G. We pronounce it hanger with a sound in our nose. Mm-mm. Hanger. Hanger. This is a hanger. We have a lot of hangers. Is there an iron? Yes, there's an iron. We have an iron. Remember pronunciation? Iron. It has the ear sound like tire and fire. And dryer. Ier. Iron. This is an iron. And this is an ironing board. We call it an ironing board. Is there a mirror? Yeah. There's a sliding door, and there's a mirror on the sliding door. Pronunciation, mirror. The first vowel is ear, like ear. Together, mirror. Mirror. We use er like burger. Put it together, mirror. Mirror. There's a mirror on the sliding door. Hey, Kevin, do we have to make the bed? No, this is a hotel room. We don't have to make the bed. They're gonna make the bed for us. They're gonna pull off the sheets and wash everything. We don't have to make the bed. Let's talk about the blankets. Yes, they're all blankets, but they have specific names. This is a comforter. Pronunciation, comforter. Comforter. The stress is on the first syllable. It's three syllables. Comforter. Comforter. This is a comforter. And these are sheets. Use the long E sound, like green beans, sheets. More than one. One sheet, two sheets. The bed has sheets. And they're going to wash the sheets. So we don't have to make the bed. We can leave it a mess. Are they going to change the pillowcases too? Probably. This is a pillowcase and this is a pillow. Yeah, I think they're going to change the pillowcases. They'll probably wash the pillowcases. And these are the curtains. Let's talk about pronunciation for curtains. We don't say curtains. The second syllable is not stressed. So you have two pronunciations that are correct. You can say curtain, tin, tin, curtain, or curtain, curtain, where you make the stop T and it falls to an N. Curtain. One curtain? No, two curtains. Curtains is usually plural. Are they going to wash the towels too? I hope so. 
Yeah, I think they're going to wash the towels too. So we can leave the towels on the floor. Towels, pronunciation, tow, ow, like cow and how. Towels, owls. The second syllable has a dark L, o, o, with the tongue near the back of the mouth, o, like call and wall. Towel, towel, one towel, two towels. We can leave the towels on the floor. Towel, one towel, two towels. They're gonna wash all the towels. In the room, we have curtains, but now we have blinds. That's right, these are blinds. You close the blinds or you open the blinds. Blinds. You don't really hear the D, blind. We don't say one blind, but we put the S and we say blinds, blinds. Close the blinds. Do you want to take the elevator? Yep, I want to take the elevator. Let's go. Elevator, pronunciation, elevator. Put the stress on the first syllable. Elevator. And the T is pronounced as a fast D. Elevator, ater, ater. Elevator. We're taking the elevator. I don't want to take the elevator. I want to take the stairs. Remember, use the verb take. You take the elevator or you take the stairs. Come on, let's take the stairs. It's faster. We found vending. What is vending? It means selling. They're selling something. What are they selling? This is a vending machine. It sells sodas. It's a Coke machine or a vending machine. Remember the V sound, make vibration with your teeth. V, the position is straight, relaxed, vending. I found a vending machine. And there's an ice machine too. Now Kevin is taking the elevator. He's going down. It's a fancy elevator. It's got a digital screen. What does it have? It has a digital screen. It's a fancy elevator. Thank you. Is it fancy? Oh yeah, it's a fancy hotel because it has a fancy elevator. This is the lobby. This is a lobby to the hotel. Pronunciation, use the short ah sound like hot and stop. La, lobby. This is the hotel lobby. This is where you check in. You check in when you arrive and you check out when you leave. You can also say this is the front desk. Front desk. Pronunciation, use the short sound uh, uh, like cup and up. Front, front desk. Use a stop T for front. Do not release the sound. Don't say front desk, but front desk. Link the sounds, front desk, front desk. This is the front desk, or you can say the lobby. It's where you check in. Oh, to check in, you need an ID and a credit card. You need a credit card for incidentals. Even if you paid for the room before, you need to have a credit card for incidentals. What are incidentals? extra things you might be charged for. You need a credit card for incidentals. A fake tree is a tree that's not real. I think it's a fake tree. What do you think? Is it a real tree or a fake tree? What do you think, Lisa? I think it's a real tree. How do you know it's a real tree? You can touch the leaves and see how they feel. Oh yeah, it feels real. This is a real tree. Inside the hotel. It's in the lobby. Pronunciation, tree. Remember, T-R makes the chicken sound. Ch -ch 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 tree. Now we're at the outdoor patio. This is an outdoor patio. Pronunciation, patio. The T is pronounced with a fast D. Paddy, patio. This is an outdoor patio. And this is a beautiful sculpture. Pronunciation, sculpture. The T-U is pronounced with the ch, ch like chicken. Sculpture. Sculpture. This is a beautiful sculpture. This is a sculpture of a seal. I think? Otter. Maybe an otter. 
Here at the hotel, there's a sign in the parking lot. It says no parking at any time. Pronunciation, vehicles, vehicles. The H is silent. We do not say vehicles. It's via, via, vehicles. Vehicles is another name for cars. Vehicles will be towed. Towed. That means a tow truck or a wrecker will take your car away and you will have to pay to get your car back. It's not good. Also, we see the word unauthorized. Pronunciation, unauthorized. AU makes the aw sound like ball and call. Aw, aw, authorized. Unauthorized. That means cars that are not supposed to be here.